Okay, so I've got this package from Amazon. I don't know what it is. Or at least I think I know what it is. It's a pair of headphones that I ordered. Just two days ago, actually. Yeah, it's only a pair of uh, Sony Tune 510s. It's not like anything crazy, but. This is a cheap pair, well, relatively cheap pair of over the ear Bluetooth headphones. I've been wanting a pair like that for a while, and um, yeah, I finally got them, so I'll be charging it tonight, I'll be trying it out tonight. Um, well, hopefully, anyways, and I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, so I have them out of the in here now. It's really nothing special, but I uh, didn't mention that these are specifically for the gym. Uh, they're supposed to have quite a bit of bass to them, um, which is the main thing. And what I'm actually really excited about is uh, once they're charged, they're supposed to have 40 hours of battery life. So really it's just a case of um, charging them up, chucking them into a case. Uh, I have one lying around somewhere putting that in the bag and just forgetting about it for a few weeks, really. Um, yeah, again, like I said, I'll be trying them out tonight and hopefully they don't disappoint. Alright, so this is going to be the uh, training commentary for the lift wing footage today. Um, it's actually a legs and shoulders day, which is... I'm not sure how much of an established thing it is, but I like to do it. Um, kind of following a uh, push-pull leg split. I like to train my shoulders with legs. And also that spit up part, doesn't that sound like the beginning to um, Is This It by the Strokes? I just noticed that when I was doing it um, in, in editing. But yeah, just warming up here a little bit. There's not a whole lot to warm up with because um, I'm doing only very lightweight at the moment. But yeah, here's the first set of 5 with 35kg, you can see it in the top right corner. And again, I accidentally filmed in uh, portrait mode, which is, I'm sorry about, but I, yeah. So yeah, I like to train my shoulders with legs. Um, I don't know really why, it just feels good. So, um, the main thing with my push-pull legs and shoulders is that I like to um, focus on progressing on you know, the powerlifting big three but also overhead press and um, pull-ups and when I kind of spread it out like this it works better for me um, second set what you'll notice is sort of how uneven my shoulders are my shoulders are naturally a little bit rounded and um, the right sits a bit higher but usually it's not a problem um, it's only after being sedentary for a year, losing all of my muscle and strength, I think that has really accentuated it to the point where it's really obvious looking at it. I was kind of shocked when I was putting the uh, footage together, but I can also feel it. So I think about here on the third set, I'm really taking care to try to keep it even, the bar path, because um, obviously 
uneven is dangerous and, and bad. But I think I'm going to book maybe an appointment with a physiotherapist sometime soon to try and rectify this issue. I do think it was sitting around for an entire year. Um, the muscles in my chest are naturally tighter and a lot more taut than the ones in my back. So, and you don't use your back muscles at all really in day to day life, so it's only gotten worse. Plus, I'm so right side dominant. I do think that just lifting for a while would really help minimize the issue. But I would rather see a specialist and work on it more than just, you know, trusting the process because I look like a fucking hunchback, basically. Um, so yeah, final set, I haven't really spoke about it, but the overhead press, it's going good. Um, I'm up about 10 kilos from where I started. Um, I feel strong, the reps are nice and controlled. Uh, it's more of an issue with the bar path than actually the strength itself. So just wrapping it up here. Um, next week I'll be doing three sets with 37 and two sets with 35. Try to hit all five with that. And if it works, then the session after that I'll try to do five sets with 37. But essentially, yeah, that's the basic progression plan I'm following on almost all of my lifts. Um, of course, on squat and deadlift, you can progress faster. But um, yeah, I enjoy it. So warming up with um, the dumbbells here, but I'll just continue with the compound movements. Um, I like to follow that. I'll go until. I need a third deload, at which point on the particular lift I'll drop the sets down from 5 to 3 and just continue with linear progression because I feel that's really the best way when you are a beginner to get results. So overhead press, or, excuse me, dumbbell shoulder press, I just warmed up with the 10s to prime myself for lifting and here's the first set of 8 with 17.5 kg. Um, yeah, it's funny, the dumbbell looks so small in my hands, but I was so focused on getting the uh, sets done. And, um, oh, wait for this. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Second set, first one went pretty well. Um, back to do the second. The session was weird, it was actually very late, so we ended up only doing kind of half of a regular session. Everyone just wanted to get home. Uh, but the main thing was I got the important lifts done. Um, basically skipped out on legs other than the squat, which doesn't mean much. But I was looking forward to the lying hamstring curls, which I didn't get to do. Second set, almost done. Um, and the third set, I felt like I still had quite a bit of strength left in the tank, which is great, obviously. I think I ended up either doing 10 or 12 reps. Let's count them as we talk. Um, well, there's, there's one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine. You could see me thinking about it. Ten, two more. Eleven, and twelve. Nice. A little bit of struggle. Maybe I had one more in me, but um, we'll never know. On to squats now. And if you do look at my back, you can see the shoulder thing I'm on about. I'm just paranoid checking that I still have the right weight on there. Um, yeah. So it looks like I'm really needing to hype myself up for this. Like I said, it was late. I must have been tired. Just wanted to go home. But the shoulder issue. I like to get my elbows really tight to my body when I'm squatting. 
Um, just make me feel more stable. I just, I think it's even more of a, like a pre-lift ritual. It doesn't feel good. The bear doesn't sit evenly on my shoulders because they are literally uneven. Um, and also, I haven't kind of got those bruises on my traps yet, where that you used to hold the weight in place. So, I felt the smallest bit of discomfort, but. It's a bit like having to build up the calluses on your hand for uh, deadlifts and pull-ups and rolls and shit. It'll just take a little bit of time. See, the shoulder hurts a little because it feels like it's sitting more on my left. Because it's sliding down off the right. Um, another thing, I wonder if my right hip maybe sits a little higher. Because before I had an issue, and I thought it was either a groin or an adductor one. Um, but I get this sharp pain on the inside of my left leg when I was squatting with my legs evenly. And it really bothered me for a while. And the solution I eventually found was that I needed my left foot to be maybe an inch or two more forwards than my right. And that would kind of resolve the issue. And it's so burned into me. I have to really consciously try to set up with my feet um, even. And I'm not doing that now, and you can see my left leg. You can see the bear path is a little, not the bear path itself, but my leg path, I guess. It's a little interesting looking because I think my right knee, left knee is bulging out more. You can see I'm constantly kind of shuffling and readjusting my feet. I'm not quite comfortable doing it again yet, uh, but that's just. And actually, I do think recording the video has helped with that, to be able to watch it back and not just go off feel. Um, as for the weight itself, it's not super heavy. <laughs> I started the month at around 50 kg. We're up 20, and just because I've gotten better with the movement, better with my breathing and all of that, um, I feel a lot more comfortable. But like I said, there's still that issue with the shoulder. There's still that issue with the legs, I guess. I think this set is maybe the best one. Um, I think I'm a little too fatigued on the fifth for it to be a good set. But yeah, you can see it's a little strange the my journey on it. It's not dangerous, and it's not like laziness or bad form. It's just. That struggle to find what to do with my, my leg. You can see, I actually, I lift my leg up and I twist my back a little. I just don't feel in super comfortable with the movement. Um, but 70 kg, my first time squatting, I did it this year. I did a tree set of five with 60, and I was dead for the next few days. Like, my quads were entirely shredded. Because they just never worked, really, from walking and stuff, you know. Which is the only other leg training I have, maybe playing soccer a bit, but... Yeah. Um, about to finish up here. It was a decent session, nothing amazing. But, um... I'm just glad to get it done. And headphones. I like them. <laughs> the long-awaited headphone review. Um, yeah. It's more fun to have over the head ones than the in ear ones, and that's the main difference. Look at that powerful stance. But the great thing about legs and shoulders day is it gives you a great pump, because I like to train my abs on that this day too, usually. <laughs> Not that you could see them. But I think I look a little leaner than the first uh, vlog, if you go take a look back at it, the first training commentary. That side chest has potential, you know. But this is the end of the video, um, thank you for watching, and uh, thanks for listening to me ramble on, goodbye.